The degeneracy of furry IRL is nothing, I fear, when compared to the conditions of surrounding acres. Monstrous size has no intrinsic merit, unless inordinate penetration be considered a virtue. Trouble yourself not with the cost of this commission. Its noble end affords you broad tolerance in your choice of years. The poor Furbot. I fear his long-standing duty here has affected him. Mastery of F and M tags was chief among my early pursuits. I began in humility, but my ambition was limitless. Who could have divined the pathetic import of something as unremarkable? as the post of a new page in a dead webcomic. I entertained a delegation of degenerates from online, eager to plumb the depths of their yif folders and share with them certain animations and flash games that I had found to yield wondrous and terrifying results. Having learned all I could from my RP buddies, I ghosted and blocked them as they slept. I brought my fuck buddies back, with much of our friendship intact. A remarkable triumph for even the most experienced furry. Freed from the trappings of their humanity, they plied their terrible trade anew. The furry, yiffing the furry, on and on, down the threads, forever. The cost of commissions, measured now in gold, later in calm. Excavations beneath the front page of E621 were well underway when a particularly ragged fur arrived in the Discord. This filthy, horny degenerate boasted an uncanny knowledge of my kinks and prognosticated publicly that, left unchecked, I would soon unleash a woo upon the world. This raving creature had to be banned, but doing so proved maddeningly impossible. How had he survived the shadow bans, the mutes, and the extra-large flared chances I delivered so enthusiastically into his ass? How had he returned, time and time again, to rouse the normies with his wild speculations and prophecies. Finally, resigned to his uncommonly short refractory period, I lured him to the folder. There I showed him the thing, and detailed the full extent of my plans. Triumphantly, I watched as he tore his eyes from their sockets and ran shrieking into the shadows, wailing maniacally that the end was upon us all.